Hi, I'm Kirsten Kelly, and today's lesson is about raised trot poles. Trotting poles have huge benefits, especially when they're raised. They really help strengthen the horse. They teach it to use its hocks. You can see, you'll see later on in the video, it really engages the hocks. It teaches them to lift their shoulders, engage their back, and really use their neck correctly. It is a fantastic strengthening exercise. It really helps strengthen up the sacroiliac, which of course is prone to injuries. If you're not sure what a sacroiliac injury looks like, if you go and stand behind your horse, look at the side of his backside, and if one side is dropped like this, means that he's had an old injury. And the best way to strengthen that up is with trot poles. It helps the rider get this feel of cadence and lightness, which is what we're trying to achieve in our dressage. It also strengthens up the muscles on the forearm. So every time the horse jumps and we want him to pull his legs up and his knees up, those are the same muscles which help engage. So the raised trot poles are pretty easy to make. Just put them on square blocks with a nice foot so that then they don't move you know, so easily. I have seen that you can buy little plastic things that the rails sit on, but the horses just kick them off straight away. So these are much better with the bigger feet and then you don't have to keep getting off to adjust them. So these are set at five pin steps. One, two, three, four. Oh my, these shoes are bigger. Okay, so four, four to five. For a pony, about four pin steps. For a hack, about four and a half to five. Now, these measured here are at between a meter and a meter and a half. Okay, now what I want to, to do is we're going to walk the horse through them first and I want him to just look, I want you to soften your hand and allow him just to kind of mooch his way through there. Now these are set for the trot, but I'm letting the horse walk through them because I want him to find them awkward and to actually think about what he's doing. So I like walking through them at the beginning because it just makes them think about it. If it's just trot, trot, trot through there all the time, it's easy and they don't really have to think so much. Look how he softened his neck, he lifts his shoulders. So the big things to remember on the approach is that you want a rhythmical trot, you want him to be soft into the hand and preferably round in the neck. So you see, he thought quickly, he realized the first stride was going to be a little long and he propelled and made it, which is really good because lots of horses actually shuffle in an extra stride. So that just shows how he was already mined on the job and he was prepared and forward. We want him to just allow himself to use his neck. So we're looking at the hocks as they really bend, so it's encouraging him to flex his hocks and sit on them, because he has to do that to take the weight off his shoulders. See, once again, see how he's lifting those shoulders, he's using the muscles that go up the forearm to really pull the legs up. That's it, good job. Notice how he had a little bit of a drift as he went over that, so it just shows me that he's a little weaker this way, and that he bulged into the outside contact. If you have a horse with a choppy trot, you could make the trot poles a little bit longer and gradually make them a little bit bigger and then you'll be lengthening the stride. If your horse is quite flat, keep the strides slightly shorter, not so it's making it choppy, but just so that you're encouraging him to actually pull his weight back off the rails. Remember if your horse starts hitting them that he is either a tired or it could be that he's weak. I like to work over the poles and then I go and do something else and I come back. I don't just do a circle round and round and round over the poles, otherwise it makes them too tired. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kirsten Kelly Equestrian. And if you're enjoying this content, you could become a patron and then you get to contribute to making these great videos and you get great rewards.